seven reasons watching porn makes you depressed step by step. If you continue to watch porn, you're gonna suffer in mediocrity and failure and never become the best, of, best version of yourself. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Stay woke conversations. Yes, sir. Energy. Now, before I get started, though, make sure to obey the algorithm to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button because a lot of men out there they're down bad watching corn and they're lost, they, they, they don't know what to do. And make sure to, uh, if you want to go in mind, body, spirit, and quit watching corn step by step based on my knowledge and experience, then join the Patreon and also book me for one v one consultation call. So let's get into it. So the first of all, and this is my base of my uh, of experience because I what was what I found was watching watching corn when I was a teenager. So step number one is um, is a way you call it a lack of mental clarity. When you watch corn, you're watching two men, you're watching two, uh, uh, you watch a man um, do all these actions and now uh, doggy style, just start jumping up, jump, jump, jump up and down on the. On the on, on this uh, joystick, do all these all these crazy fantasy moves and that. Do you understand? It's uh, it's fucks you, up, fucks you up mentally. You know what I mean? And uh, what you call it? You're you're was he hitting your dopamine receptors of that feeling of that like you actually you actually doing the action? But in reality, you're not. You're watching a pixel, bro. You are watching a pixel. It gets so excited that and the dopamine increases to so that. So if you're actually doing it in the screen, you're doing this so you are giving you are giving the back shots to the woman. Then, then you realize, oh, I'm not doing that, I'm just watching the screen and that oopsie, and you got a hand, this hand in your pants, and you're blowing and you're blowing your seed away. That's it, that's what you're doing into a sock or to the toilet, whatever you're doing in that. Just that. <laughs> and that literally makes no sense. And that mesh of psychology because now you've least your seed now. Now you feel uh now you got brain fog, you cannot like think straight, like doing activities like um uh family duties or um or career or or studying, whatever you can struggle to do in that, like because you're because you're out of because you're out of touch of reality. You know, you're not gonna be constantly focused, mental clarity, you're not gonna focus and have mental clarity, then how are you supposed to uh, how, are you, how are you supposed to uh, what you call maneuver and operate as a human being? You can't. Just that. Because the, the most powerful weapon that you have on this earth is uh, your life force energy. And the matrix is attacking so many different ways for you to get rid of, to, for you to sacrifice that life force energy. Because when you have no life force energy, then you're not in your true essence. It's not your, you're not in your true essence. You're not, you're not in your power. So you're easy prey to the devil. The devil can just mess around with you and that. You know what I mean? Mess up easily, easy prey because you're low frequency. So that's what you're attracted. When you, every time you lose a seed, you are losing, you are, uh, what you call, you are making the devil more powerful and he's a way in control of you and that. Mess you around. Mess around with your thoughts and that. Mess around with your behavior. Everything you mess around on that. Do you understand? So it messes you up, messes you up mentally. Uh, and I've experienced that myself. You just can't think straight, focus, concentration, all of that. Can't, uh, can't do struggle, big struggle. So, highly not recommended. Number two is you're gonna have a lack of energy. When you release a seat, if you didn't know, you are sacrificing, watch this video right now, you are suffering uh, 200 vitamins and minerals. That's the see that you see that you blow away. That is so you release your natural your vitamins and minerals, the amino acids, your detachment, your will, your power. That's where you all let it all go. Then once you realize when you have least to see, then you feel free. You know, then you feel free when you've done it. But again, that causes consequences. That you feel your, that shorten, that shorten satisfaction, that pleasure. You, you boom, it came out boom. That's it. You see on your blow, on your sock, blow in the toilet. Anyway, yeah, where you call it. You feel you accomplished something. Then you realize, oh, oops, oopsie. Uh, where you call it. Life is teaching you a lesson. About to teach you a lesson. You understand? Because now you're not going to struggle to do activities. Now you're going to be slower. You're not going to be efficient, quicker, faster. You're not going to be able to do it because why? Because you are, uh, you've, uh, you've sacrificed your energy. And you need energy to be productive. You need uh, energy to be happy, have a fulfilled day. Without energy, not happening. You know? And you're not going to get, you're not, you're not be able to get the most out of life. That's why, that is why you cannot be watching corn. And a, a, a masturbate for the for no reason. Number three, which is a lack of no a lack of uh, driver motivation. 
You need a driver to move your motivation as a man to fulfill your duties. If you don't got a driver and motivation, you're not going to be competitive. You're not going to compete with other men. You know? Or be inspired, motivated by other men and that to, for you to become the better version of yourself. It's not going to happen. Do you understand? Because you fall in the sacrifice of life force energy. You know? Because all the food that all the things that you're consuming, right? Your water, the water, the uh, the food that you're consuming, your your body extracts all the vitamins and all the things that it needs, and that creates it into a semen. It creates a semen and it sits in your body, and that, that's gonna hold everything down. The, the, uh, and once you got a semen, it's gonna distribute all distributes to uh, the vitamins and minerals to all your to your brain, to your bloodstream, everything. But guess what? Once you uh, release a seed, then the body goes into panic mode. Oh, what's going on? Where's the testosterone? Where is it? And guess what? Then, then, it, then because the, the, the uh, human body is so clever, he's going to extract that, the, those vitamins and minerals from your bloodstream, from your brain, from your kidney, your liver, your heart, your lungs, all extract it. Extract it. And start building your testosterone back up again. So within a week, your testosterone is fully topped up again. Because, uh, because, uh, because your body is, uh, is pulled it from all your from all your organs, but that's a bad thing because the more it pulls it, the more you do it, watch porn and masturbate, then it pulls it, pulls it, then eventually you get to a stage where it's fine, difficult to pull, it's difficult to, to pull the the the, uh, the vitamins and minerals, then you're fucked. Just are going from then you're fucked, and now you're gonna look at your your your, your hair is gonna be affected, your skin, your hair, you can't switch, or your whole life is gonna be affected, it's gonna be fucked. That's why I cannot be doing that. Uh, number four, which is, um, which is, what is that? What is that called? Again? Yeah, which is guilt, guilt and shame. When I when I've watched corn and uh, and uh, and brought my CD, where I feel such great guilt and shame and regret. Why, why am I? Why did I do this and that? Like, am I feel good now? Have I accomplished anything? Am I, am I moving forward in my life? Yeah, all these questions start to pop up in your mind they you realize, nah, actually, you know what? This actually doesn't make sense, you know? This is what someone's actually doing. That's a for short of gratification. Watching corner that, uh, watching a woman that you're never gonna meet, you know what I mean? And like, you're watching a man's willy, you're watching a man's willy, you know? That's what you do if you don't, re if you don't realize. You are watching a man's willy stick into a woman's box. That's what you're doing in that. You're watching a man's so that's, that is uh, weird. That's weird as fuck, man. That's dumb, stupid, idiotic. It doesn't make sense. Think about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You are watching another man's, uh, another man's willy. You understand? So, um, you, guilt and shame, man. You understand? And when you feel guilt and shame, man, that you, you want to know frequency. You understand? You want to know frequency. You can't be your best. You can't be your true essence. You can't be yourself. Uh, uh, how, you, how you're supposed to be. You can't be that. So, that's why you cannot be watching porn. Um, step number five. So uh, five, just uh, which is a key one: objectifying, objectifying, and dehumanizing women. If you objectify and dehumanizing women, then then you are in trouble. You cannot live a fulfilled, happy, happy relationship with women. Now, Do you understand? With your girlfriend, why? Because now you've got, uh, now you're viewing as objects now. Now as human beings, I feel okay. Yeah, you just want to think. All you think about is sex because you're programming yourself of sex, 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 sex. So now you you look at as the the, the body parts, and I just worshiping their body parts, which is then, which is haram, bro. Do you understand? That's, how, that's why it's forbidden, and in religious to be doing that. In this society, it's just totally unacceptable to be doing that. Now you look, you look at their, their private parts, whatever. Now what you, can, what you think about what you can do, or all these fantasies are popping in your head. <laughs> that is what that's what you because you're programming yourself in that manner. That's a, that's a frequency you're on right now. So objectification of women and the you dehumanizing women, do you understand? But you cannot be you can't be doing that because you, now you've got only unrealistic expectations of your partner. And uh, because this you can't meet it, uh, your demands in bed, uh, what you've watched, with all the music that they put in and that, so she can't do it. So uh, then the relationship will start to deteriorate, deteriorate and that's it, then you're going to go a separate way and she's going to go a separate way. She's going to go and find a woman that, uh, that hasn't got those expectations and it's really chops, uh, uh, loves her and appreciates her based on, her, based, based on her, uh, her, her mindset, what she brings to the table, all of that. You understand? So 
object, uh, objectification and, 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 and of, uh, of women and dehumanizing them is a red flag. That's why you cannot be watching porn. And last but not least is the is a, a, such a great waste of time, time and productivity. You watching the screen now for uh, hours. How long you watch it for? Uh, me personally, when I was watching Korn, I was on for a long time, probably about an hour or less, whatever, not that much, a couple of videos, and that's about it. I was going for one hour, two hour feed, now I wasn't doing that, no, no, personally. But a lot of men are just constantly watching, watching like it's TV, like it's a TV show. <laughs> you understand? Know it's all, these cycles all say different, different women, just different women, different men, and doing the same thing, it's the same shit, like, it's not a different, it's the same thing. You got one, you got, you got watching videos once in the shower, just you know once outside, once in the living room, different locations, like whatever. But it's the same shit. You understand? They're both just fucking. That's it. You understand? Just, just, you know what I'm just to see different moves. But the whole point is that they are effing each other. That's it. So, you, uh, why are you watching that? Like, you, you, uh, the time is gone because time is money. We're seeing time. All, all we've got time in that. Wherever it goes away, it goes away. A day, a week is gone. A month is gone. A year is gone. It's gone. You can't get it back. You understand? Go from anything's replaceable or not. But time is not replaceable. Time is infinite. So, wherever it's gone, it's gone. So, your time and uh, your time and energy is being wasted. The time that you spend watching corny, you can work on work on your mental health. Learn, read a book, learn a skill. You know, um, where you could physically work out, get the best shape of your life. You know, working out, eating healthy, sleeping right, S spiritually get 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 to God, to, to nature. You know, raise your frequency, your vibra vibration. Get to the universe. You know, work on your career. Your goals and ambitions, your dreams, all of that. So, any amount of things to do, any amount of tasks to do, but you decide to sit on the screen here and brainwash yourself with with uh, with filth. And now your your mind is filthy as well. Your frequency is filthy as well. And that's what you're going to attract. Do you understand? And that is a losing battle. That's why you're going to suffer in mediocrity and failure if you do not quit quit watching porn ASAP. Take the willpower, be strong enough to say no, and you can. You can quit, you can quit porn quick so quickly, but you have to you have to you have to you have to face the mirror, and look at yourself, and decide, make the call of what it's gonna be. You're gonna suffer like mediocrity failure. Whether you're gonna be this be in a house uh, by yourself, single, broke, fat, you know, unattractive, or you're gonna make the decision, or you wanna reach out, uh, uh, live live a life of health, wealth, abundance, prosperity, and live the life that you want to live. And become the best version of yourself. Maybe you should try to see, get close, uh, get close to God. That's the choice I want to be: red pill or blue pill. It's up to you in that man. But time is ticking, though. Do you understand? As time will be ticking, day by day goes by. We are our, our life is fading away. So you have a choice, man. What is it going to be? The choice is yours. So that's the end of the video. The seven reasons why uh, the sorry the six reasons why watching porn makes you depressed. So with that being said, make sure to hit that red subscribe button, like the video. And if you want to go your mind, body, and spirit, become the uh, best version of yourself, then make sure to join the Patreon and um, book, uh, book me for one v one consultation call right now. And uh, um, I'm, 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 let's ready, let, let's get let's uh, vote. Uh, let's uh, I'm gonna here help you to uh, change your life for the the better. So with that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.